Hello, everybody. It's good to be with you. I thought we'd have a, a short chat today about um, primal fear. And because the, the chief reason that people don't wake up is because of primal fear. And the chief reason that people wake up and then apparently lose what they have, the way it'll feel, is because of you know primal fear. And this primal fear is what? Well, what is our really core primal fear? It's, it's of extinction, is it not? Now, it's interesting that, that our core fear is extinction, and that actually is the definition of nirvana. Now, if you're unacquainted with uh, Eastern religions, uh, you may equate nirvana with heaven, but heaven is a place where you got... <laughs> nirvana is the, an absence of experience an absence of experiencing so uh they're th those things are quite different but we're scared of that absence of experience because that doesn't include us because we're not there having the absence of experience the absence of experience is not unto itself an experience yeah so when we get to thinking that there is something called an after-death experience, we're talking about the dream. I mean, I, I, the, there's no rules here, right? I mean, I don't know what is possible in the dream, but from everything I've seen, anything is possible in the dream. I mean, you know, you could end up with a scoundrel like me and end up being a, a, a spiritual teacher. I mean, it's just that radically <laughs> open to incongruous movements and happenings. So. <clears throat> The primal fear, the reason, what the way that that's experienced for you is it won't be, oh, I have a bread, I have a primal fear, I'm just gonna, you know, that I'm gonna disappear and I, I don't wanna do that. That's not the way it'll show up for you. The way it will show up for you is the primal fear that you have re in regards to extinction is that you are afraid. Well, you're afraid to allow what is to go unmanaged. It's that simple. We are terrified of allowing what is to go unmanaged. Because we think we're in charge here. It feels like we're in charge. I mean, ask anybody. I must be the one in charge. The only thing is they'll think they're the one in charge. And I believe I'm the center of the universe and everybody else thinks they are. I mean, they're welcome to be wrong. <laughs> I don't want to press them on it. But we feel like we have to have control here. So that, that and, and so we make up something. Really, this is true. We make, this is Fred's four uh, ignoble truths. And we make something up. We make something up. You know what we make up? The concept of free will. Now, whatever it is that makes up the concept of free will doesn't have any free will. <laughs> what in the hell is that, right? But it's true. The, the, it, this is all just happening. So it means that there is... There's, when I say we make stuff up, I don't really mean that these individuals make stuff up. I mean that uh, that patterns appear and we buy into them. When I say we, I still don't want you to think that I'm talking about an individual. I'm talking about the collective us, otherwise known as I, or some people will call it God. In my opinion, in my experience, it's prior to God, but. That, that that won't wash well in many circles, I know that. And sometimes I call it God. I mean, I have no problem calling it God because I don't need to, to be technical with everybody that I talk to. Um, you know, but I got to be careful of these non-dual policemen. I mean, they're, you know, they're going to be, they, they seek me out. They watch for, they watch for incongruities. They watch for inconsistency. But, you know, they watch for inconsistency. But um, as your data said, if your teacher is not, inconsistent with or you know not inconsistent with himself and he's not trying hard enough it's that is that because this is about 
what? This is always about paradox. It's not about things operate this way or things operate that way. It's a thing that, that things operate both ways or no ways. <laughs> It's 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 both or zero. Because but and what is both? Both is relativity. What's zero? The void. The, that which is prior to consciousness, which is what? It's void <laughs> unto itself, but it nonetheless is the mother of all things. It is it it, it is it is nothing unto itself, but it is nonetheless. Void is the mother of all things. It is it gives birth to all of this. How that happens? I, God Almighty. I don't know. But what I've noticed is I don't need to know and I don't care to know. I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get it caught up in um trying to figure out how this thing is working or how or what's going on here. I don't have any idea what's going on here, but as long as I know that I don't have any idea of what's going on here, I'm okay. And if you can get to that point of ignorance, you'll be okay too. Ignorance is bliss. <laughs> and that's true too. And when I'm talking about ignorance, it doesn't mean we're stupid. It means we're not informed. In other words, how the universe really works in, in all of its details and everything, that's out of my, that's, that's out of my pay grade. Yeah. I'm, I'm, but, but this, is, this is just a guy. This is just a guy that got hollowed out and is being used like a flute by awakeness. And it's just playing this flute. And what you hear are the notes of the flute. You hear the song of awakeness as it, as it comes through this flute. And it is, um, and, and I don't control that. And I, I, mean, I don't even, I don't, I don't even know how it happens. I can't imagine, I don't know how it happened to begin with. I really don't, you know. It's all a mystery. We just, but we just, we just hate that. We, I mean, we like the idea of mystery, but we don't like it to be a mystery to us. We like the idea of it's a mystery to everybody else, but we get it, right? Doesn't work like that. This thing is a mystery to everybody. So this fear of letting what is go unmanaged, it's this primal thing. You know, it's because we believe we know how things should go. Now, let me ask you. The um, the weather in China right now, just let's if you could pick some kind of small the, the 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 weather in Shanghai right now. How is it? What do you think? What do you think we should do over there? <laughs> I'm thinking rain. What do you think? It's, we don't have any control over that. We don't have any control over the weather here either, right? And I've got my little, I've got my weather channel thing, app on my phone and on the, and on the, um, the PC here. And, you know, so I can check up on the weather because the next best thing to control in it is checking up on it, <laughs> making sure it's doing what it's supposed to do, what it's been told to do. And I notice that it often does, even when it's like, you know, well, it's going to be, sunny tomorrow and they say that in the morning and it rains like hell yeah because it, it, it this thing is operating without the aid of your opinion it's operating without the aid of any opinion including this one for sure see it's a, it's a beyond opinions what's happening here is beyond your beliefs it doesn't make any difference whether you believe anything i'm telling you or not Still true. You don't have to believe it. It's fine. It's true-ish. It's about as true as he. It's about as true as it gets. That's the truth. Honest to God. It's about as true as it gets. I had somebody tell me yesterday in Satsang, you know, I'm I'm and he's, you know, they had a little confession on now. You know, I've been to other Satsangs. I said, that's good. And he said, but you know, the questions in there that come up in there and those other Satsangs, they are nothing like the questions that come up in here. Your students are just amazing. And uh, yeah. And um they didn't all come here that way. <laughs> some came here pretty amazing, some didn't, right? But everybody that stayed and played, uh, 
is is amazing now. And they ask her questions about uh, questions about living as a whiteness within the bounds of the dream, which we call the world. We'll call it world. So how to live as a whiteness through the unit in the dream or in the world, right? That's what it's really all about. And what we notice is that everything counts and nothing matters, but everything does count. When I say, every little last thing you do, the way that you do it, all of that, every bit of it counts. Does it matter? Hell no. <laughs> In the end, what does matter? But you're afraid to let things just go on their own because it might not go right. What is right? What does go right mean to you? What's it mean to, I can tell you what it meant here. I mean, what go right now, I just don't, I don't <laughs> it's not really something, a, a phrase I use because there's no such thing as go wrong. It, it goes as it does. That's the way it's seen here. But I used to have very much of an opinion. And, I, you know, there can still rise up opinions and beliefs about relative beings. If I keep using the, the thing in Ukraine, but that's because it's just such a huge thing and everybody, pretty much everybody's got an opinion. But Ukraine is happening in the world. It's not happening in my world, right? In my world, there's really nothing happening. <laughs> and, you know, and, and it's fine. It's fine. And I get to enjoy this world through vicariously through these little avatars that I wind up, so to speak. Go out there. <laughs> Hey, I think I'm in charge, <laughs> says the puppet, right? God almighty. Oops. Fred, I got this. <laughs> My little mouse, yeah? The, uh, you little mouse. Because what will happen to my life if I let go? That's what everybody's scared of. What will happen to me? Well, let's see if we can find you for, before you really give up a lot of work, but put a lot of time into worrying about that thing. Can you find what you mean when you say me? If you say this, is that true? I mean, you're sitting here watching this channel. I know that most, many of you have been watching it for a long, long time. And you should have it through your heads by now that the body is not you, right? So the body is not you. Hmm. So what are you? Well, we can know, we, we can certainly know what you are not. And you're, you know, and you, even though you are oneness, you you express yourself as oneness. You're not oneness. You're that which is prior to oneness. You're that which is prior to consciousness. But you express yourself as consciousness, which expresses itself as world. Yeah? That much I do know. <laughs> so the idea is that this is my world. This is my life. What's happening with my awakening? Fred, is my awakening going along like it should? Well, I don't know. Check with the source. <laughs> and, we, you know, to go to the source, it's going as it's going. I know that. And there's no, there is no, it should be going differently. Uh, you, 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 that sense that you have that you, I just, I should be brighter than this, or I should be more awakened than this, or I should be clearer than this, or whatever. Not true. It's just not true. It's never true. It never ever is it true. You are as you are at every given moment, and you are as you are chiefly because you cannot be any other way than exactly the way that you are. And this is an expression of you. Just like this is an expression of you, this is also an expression of you. So this, this is like one expression living inside a, another expression. It's a 
chains. This is an expression of microphone over here. <laughs> it is. It's a whiteness. I don't. I can't recognize any consciousness in it. But that's because I am consciousness, and I can't recognize what's outside of consciousness or prior to consciousness, whatever. And I don't know, really know the case on this stupid microphone, but it is. But it's here. It's within manifestation, and manifestation is consciousness. But you can equate those two. I just noticed that I have a little alarm going over here. Here, and I hope it won't, didn't bother you. It didn't bother me. It wasn't loud enough, but I'll make sure it's even lower, just in case it wasn't on zero. Um, I typically don't have my my any volume showing on my phone because uh, I don't. You know, nobody calls me. People zoom with me, but nobody calls me. Only person that calls me will be a couple of my friends here locally, and they won't do that. But once every six months or something i just have a very shallow why you know when i say shallow i just mean it's not it's 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 a very deep life but it's um but it's not broad you know it's not the experience here i mean i, I like and i and it would suit me if it wasn't as broad as it is right i don't actually you know i, I tell people i don't care if my rear wheels don't ever uh cross the county line again that's the truth. I've got nowhere to go. I've got nothing to, to see, prove, um, learn, any of that. Um, and most of the time, I don't care if I, if I don't get out of the driveway. I don't get out of the yard. I don't get off the deck. But I, you know, I got to go down to the little cabin and pretend to exercise so I can pretend to get better. So that, you know, this unit can then feel good about itself or whatever. Everybody else will feel good about itself, too. It will be more congenial. It's more congenial when it's healthy. So, you know, miscongeniality here. I don't <laughs> I want I want everybody to be able to get along with this bulky old unit. It's just a park drunk. And it's just a park. You're, you're talking. You're listening to a park drunk. That's the truth. How do you feel about that? I'm I'm a little taken aback myself, right? What's the truth? It's absolute truth. It's a one part drunk plus a miracle. How about that? And you know why it happened? Because it couldn't not. What are the odds that this would happen uh, in 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 the life here, which is not my life? There's no me here. What are the odds that it would happen that this amazing occurrence of the part drunk becoming a spiritual teacher? What were the odds of that? They were 100%. It couldn't not happen. It had to happen. The odds of you listening to this video right now are 100%. You couldn't have not listened to this video. It feels like you had other options. But in truth, we notice what you're doing. <laughs> Those who had other options are doing them because this was an object, this was an option that was bypassed in order to get to what that unit's supposed to be doing. Because all these units are doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're doing their very best. we got to have compassion for others because they're as blind as we are. Right? We're all just blundering through heaven, you know, so to speak. The, like in the terms of it being, you know, wonderful and angelly and all that. Uh Soft cotton sitting on clouds. What do you think you'll be next? Heard a lot about that. Never seen any. Never experienced it. Uh, it doesn't. There is no room for it in this teaching. You know, it just isn't. I mean, is room for it within the context of the dream? And things will arise that are acceptable to the. Uh, the one that it's happening to, the one that, uh, for instance, you know, awakening will occur, and it comes in different forms. You know, people see Jesus, see a piece of people see um, um, uh, uh, Muhammad or, or um, they whatever. You know, they see the prophet. You know, or they, they see the prophet. The truth of the prophet is what they probably really see, and, and um, because there's a lot of 
you know, there's a lot of Sufis that are just as deep as we are. They got there a different way, but it's, we can't know that it's actually the same way as this. And I'm digressing. So I'm going to stop digressing. <laughs> and I'm going to close this damn video out by just saying, look, Allow what's going on to go ahead and go on. You notice you don't have a stop switch or a pedal. You don't have a brake on this thing. You think you've had a brake on it. You think you've had an accelerator on it. You think you were at a steering wheel, but you don't. Or if you do, they're not hooked to anything. It's just imaginary stuff. Hooked to other imaginary stuff. This is not, there's nobody driving this bus. Nobody. And nothing, nothing is driving this bus. Well, I didn't mean that as a pun, but I'll take it as a pun. Nothing is driving this bus. In other words, all of this comes from that. And that, it, it, what, it, what it spills out is the inevitable. The absolute. Inevitable is not inevitable until it happens, but once it happens, it was inevitable. Up until then, yeah, I guess there's some flex. <laughs> I don't really know that. But what I know is that, is that I can't see it going forward. But if I look back, I can see that I was supposed to be a teacher from the time I was about three or four years old. I, can, I remember the first sermon I ever gave. My mother was the audience. She was mightily impressed. I swear to God she was. <laughs> And, uh, and my career was launched. I just took <clears throat> some side steps there for a few decades. It's happening anyway. Do you notice? How deep a claw marks do you want to leave as you're being pulled along with the inevitable? You cannot stop it. You, you can float with it. You can flow with it. Or you can be crushed by it. And that choice will appears to be someone's. All I can tell you is attitude is a big deal. And an attitude of cooperating with the inevitable will make a life much smoother and much more pleasant. I know because I pushed against it for over 50 years. But right dead against it, unbelievable. Even at the and I, even when I had seen the the insanity of it, the patterns were here, and I couldn't not stop doing it for for quite some time. I mean, it really took took a good while for all of that to begin to unwind, and you know, I'm sure not all of it's unwound yet. I'm never declaring that I'm the graduate, right? I'm just like you, just another student of this teaching. I was the first teaching that we know of. I was the first teacher of this teaching that we know of. There may be others, who knows? Could, but there could be lots of others. I don't know. I just never heard of them. And they would use, a, you know, I guess a different name. But you got this one. And this is my teacher. The guy that does videos is my teacher. I swear to God. Has been for years. Because I'm not doing these videos. The, the, when I say I'm not, I'm talking about whatever it is that feels like a fredness over here. There's no, there, there is no self agency here. So the I can't do anything because there's no I, and you can't do anything because there's no you. And this happening is just happening. And you don't need to go to school to figure out what all that means. You just need to sit down and be honest with yourself. This is it. I love you. Bye-bye.